Have you ever felt worried that you're not getting enough leads into your digital agency business? My name's Chris Badgett. I'm a WordPress LMS software entrepreneur. I'm a former WordPress agency owner. I'm a coach to WordPress professionals. I'm a course creator and I'm a homeschooling work from home dad coming to you live from the cabin in my backyard. Um, be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to share an exclusive resource with you called the WordPress LMS Buyer's Guide, which helps you select the best tech for your next client site that's a training-based membership site or a learning management system. But to get back to the agency lead problem, this is a huge problem. <laughs> My WordPress agency story started back in 2010. I was just a solo freelancer at the beginning. And the way I started to generate leads was I was trying to work my local network in a small town I was in. I even joined the Chamber of Commerce, which is where business owners go to kind of network and stuff. I did a presentation there uh, to a room of like 30 business owners and I started getting some initial clients and that's how it began. Um, a year later, I got my first uh, WordPress website client through the internet. Uh, the, from basically teaching what I know on YouTube. Um, many tens of thousands of people have, have since gone through those YouTube courses on how to build sites with WordPress. Um, I ended up, up putting it on Udemy. Uh, I've also done like the um, uh, networking style lead generation at scale at conferences. And, and at that you know, later stage in my agency career, I was regularly closing $10,000 to $50,000 website projects. So um, now I help other WordPress agency owners get clients in the LMS niche. So I've been around the, the agency and the lead generation problem for quite some time. And if you're struggling uh, with one of these agency lead generation challenges, perhaps you have a low flow of client leads or client prospects, low deal flow. Perhaps you're struggling with feast or famine where you're scrambling back and forth between trying to drum up uh, business, do some marketing, get some leads, and then have, having to go fulfill the projects you sell. And while, when you get big into fulfillment, you stop marketing and the leads dry up. That's the terrible feast or famine cycle. Or maybe you're struggling with uh, marketing tactic overwhelm. That's where you're kind of jumping from one marketing shiny object, magic bullet uh, tactic to the other. And maybe you get some good results or maybe you get no results, but you're just kind of overwhelmed with all the different marketing tactics out there. So I'm going to help clear all that up for you today. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to help you fix your lead generation uh, strategies and also uh, give you what you need to implement some systems that can support you in a, in a much more sustainable way so that you can uh, increase your, your lead flow for clients. That's the most important part for you. So, and then also so you can get steady leads without having to scramble back and forth from marketing to fulfillment, marketing to fulfillment, so we can put some systems in place and uh, I'm also going to show you how to get more leads with less work by putting some of the lead generation agency pieces on complete autopilot and leveraging the power of certain types of content. So there's really five key principles that can help you generate steady and even a growing curve of lead flow to your WordPress agency. The first principle is to niche to win. Now I have entire presentations on this topic. I'll put a link to that down below. But basically the big unlock here is that clients want to hire uh, niche experts, niche uh, expert problem solvers. So when a client is hiring an agency, they don't, they care less about the tech and the stuff you use. They, they want their business problem solves. So uh, basically, um, Niching to win is planting your expertise flag in a high value niche like WordPress LMS systems uh, implementation so that you 
so that someone can confidently look at your business, your agency, and not just like, oh, this is somebody who builds websites, but oh, this is somebody who helps this certain sector of client, like uh, let's say a coaching client or a online school or um, you know a the expert industry type folks have uh, strong digital learning experiences online. So this is called niching to win. There's a link below this video where I go deep on the five high value um, niches in the LMS space. Principle number two is to teach for free. That's what I learned back in 2011. I made some videos teaching people everything I knew about how to build a WordPress site and put that up on YouTube. And I would get, uh, I started getting calls, people like, hey, I was watching your video um, can I just hire you to build the site for me? It's literally that simple. So um, so teaching for free is um, basically the, the, the strategy of doing it through content, but also doing it through free courses on your website. Um, we have a training uh, and templates in Lifter LMS, our WordPress LMS plugin, so that you can just click one button and import a free course lead magnet, which you should do. You should be doing so that you're kind of automating some of your uh, lead capture and um, lead nurturing process in a free mini online course. The third principle is to teach for money. This is a huge opportunity here. Um, uh, there's there's some this common belief that as an agency, maybe you should always just move up market and find bigger and bigger and higher paying clients and stuff like that. But when you teach for money, think of it like the work that you do for your agency for a client. You've got a free mini course to generate leads, but then you have this paid course that helps a DIY person get a result that's like a part of what would happen if they hired your service. You just show them how to do it through a paid self-study online course. And that, I like to think of that kind of thing as a downsell. So as soon, uh, this is where a lot of people are leaving a lot of money on the table. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, you're not qualified when they don't have the budget. You can just say like, it looks like you, um, you don't have the budget for our services, but you can take this do-it-yourself course and um, get get similar results on the own just following uh, you doing the implementation work following the, the steps in this paid course so that's the teach for money strategy um, so uh, and then you'll still get people inside of that that uh, you know to go do that and then they realize what you're also doing is like yeah I'll take the cheaper option I'll just do it myself and then they get into it and they realize that, oh, this is harder than I thought. It's more time consuming. I need more skill than I actually have. I think I'm just going to hire you now that I better understand the process. So that also happens when you teach for money. The fourth principle is what I call full stack social media. Uh, I see so many people, and I really learned this myself over the years, uh, of how people use social media as a business incorrectly. And I mean, it's not up to me to judge. I'm just saying, if you look at social media as a way to generate leads for your business uh, and sales, um, there's a certain way to look at social media that most business owners don't look at the full picture. And it's really just two things. We just gotta look at what the word social means and what the word media means. So full stack social media is doing both. By social, this is where you have conversations with your target market where you're adding value and you're literally developing a relationship. That's what sales processes are like. Um, not everybody's ready to buy all the time instantly. You gotta develop uh, the, that know, like, and trust factor and build authority in your, in your niche and all these things. That comes through conversation that is um, steady and built over time and not done in like a span a spammy way or overly aggressive way um, but genuinely helping people in your target market with low expect with no expectation of i'm going to help you for free but then you got to hire me it's not like that we're just planting seeds out in the market that can slowly evolve uh, or quickly evolve into 
uh, business. So that's the social part of media. I see a lot of people post content. Uh, this is the media part, uh, but not do the social part. So media is actually demonstrating uh, and helping the market with media. And there's the whole, you know, funnel, content funnel, top of the funnel, bottom of the funnel, all this stuff. But creating like videos and blog posts and whatever type of media comes easiest to you, um, you got to do that too to help your market to perhaps get their interest so they might be uh, interested in investing their email address and time into your free mini course. But you got to get some content out there and you got to get it in front of them. And this can be on your social media, but you can also participate in a, in a tactful, respectful way in other people's groups, um, especially if you're just adding value through content and conversation without a bunch of like, uh, you know, come to like, you shouldn't always be dropping links to your site or, or always just pitching yourself or dropping those messages like I'll send you a DM to a stranger who's asking a question and doesn't even know you yet. Um, you just kind of got to mix actual social conversations and media over the long term. So that's full stack social media. Um, the, the fifth principle is what I call the YouTube traffic system. As I hinted to earlier, I discovered the power of YouTube for lead generation for agencies a, uh, about a decade ago. And I've since uh, crystallized my thinking into a system which just involves you making four very strategic videos uh, that, that meet your buyer at the various stages of the buyer's journey. So the unaware, um, the problem aware, the uh, solution aware and the product aware stage. And I've got a whole training on how the YouTube traffic system works. There's a free video uh, here on YouTube that you can just go check out. Uh, and I'll put a link to that down below. But basically you just create these four pieces of content that can uh, feed your client business uh, organic leads from YouTube, the second largest search engine in the world and where people go to you know, find solutions to problems. So, but I got a detailed video about that, check that out. So I've been in the WordPress agency space for a decade. And there's a problem that's always fascinated me is I've seen the market in both sides of the market. And I see all these freelancers and agency owners who are having a hard time getting clients. And then I see all these clients that are having a hard time finding an agency that can help them or they're very not happy with their existing solution. And uh, there's a disconnect there. Like how is it that there's all these people looking for each other but they just can't seem to connect and they keep missing? Um, what you're, what you've learned here today helps fix that problem. Um, so by niching down, by teaching for free, by teaching for money, by doing full stack social media, by having the YouTube traffic system in play, you bridge the gap between, uh, what the client is looking for and what you're looking for by putting a little effort up front into the strategies I've given you today. So. And one more trend I've seen in the space for WordPress agency owners is a lot of them have the excuse, and I've been there, and I've used this excuse myself, so I say it with love, of, uh, oh, I don't really have time to invest in my own website, or my website just looks terrible. I, I don't have time because I'm always doing client sites or trying to get my own clients. But this is, uh, this is not something that you can really get away with anymore. Clients have a hard time... Uh, trusting a WordPress website building expert uh, who doesn't have a great looking website and doesn't demonstrate uh, their skill through some basic, um, you know, portfolio pieces. And the, the free course um, really helps build that trust too. And if that looks clean and smooth and you happen to be selling into like training niches, or LMS niches, you're, you're basically demonstrating your expertise on your own website, which is really powerful. So I got one more pro tip for you today. So I'm going to help you get leads personally for your WordPress agency um, because we have something called the Lifter LMS Experts Program. So 
Basically what that is, is a directory of Lifter LMS professionals, familiar professionals who can build sites for clients. We get asked all the time at Lifter LMS, hey, do you know anybody who can do this for me or set up the site for me or I wanna hire, I, I wanna hire somebody to kind of manage the tech. We, got asked this, we get asked this question daily all the time. So we built the Lifter LMS Experts Program. And if you're um, wanting to join that, but you don't have experience with Lifter LMS yet, go ahead and just use the teach for free, the free course lead magnet strategy that we went over in today's video so that you can use yourself to get experience building uh, and working with Lifter LMS. And that'll give you a baseline of experience to get started serving the red hot online remote learning L LMS market that's um, in such high demand right now and continuing to grow. So with that, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I wanna share an exclusive resource with you called the WordPress LMS Buyer's Guide. Um, it basically teaches you the top five questions you need to ask to select the best um, tech stack for your next LMS project. Many, many thousands of people have downloaded that resource and have said how much they appreciated uh, getting some clarity around that because people get really overwhelmed when they're swimming through all this hosted LMS, self-hosted WordPress, um, membership plugin, LMS, e-commerce, all this stuff. Uh, so we clean that up for you with five simple questions that you can ask to choose the best stack for your next project. So um, if you got something out of this video, please smash that like button, share this video with a friend, uh, especially if you know someone who has a, a agency and is not getting the lead flow um, that, they, that they deserve uh, so that you can help more um, agency owners and freelancers um, develop this full stack uh, lead generation machine. And I wanna thank you for coming and checking out this video. Marketing and lead generations is one of the things I just love doing. I've become a full stack entrepreneur um, to run my business, but lead generation and, uh, you know, especially the automated kind is, is something that I've really invested a lot in learning over the years. So what I'm giving you today in this video is some of the best stuff to help generate leads for your agency. So I just want to remind you that you have the power to lift up others through education. There's a course inside all of us and I'll see you in the next video.